Welcome back to the channel guys. I want to go over how our pre-market scans found EXTN at a really great deal and allowed for a 40% day trade move in a market that really is struggling to find any gains anywhere. So I have here the chart pulled up, a one minute chart on EXTN. And this is the pre-market move that it made. It went from all the way down here from $3 all the way up to a 70% move, $2.12 there. And I believe it may have hit higher. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So 512. So from $3 to 512 is the move that this stock made. So that is a 70% move, a $2.10 per share move. Now, no one caught it from the $3 unless you know you had a crystal ball, which none of us do. But what I can show you is what I like when I'm looking for a day trade. So this stock popped on our scanners on the Fresh Meat 75 scanners. Now all of these scanners here that you see are my pre-market scans. They're all custom built scans and they're all available for free streaming in my Discord and I'll leave the link in the description below. But I stream these from 7 a.m. till 8 p.m. and if you'd like to partake in that, feel free. So these scans here are designed to find stocks that are moving either on press release, news, or just a lot of volume really fast. This scan on the left is going to find the price action, and this scan on the right is going to pair that price action with volume. So as long as we have price action paired with volume, then I believe we have a recipe for success. Now, it's not the only thing that we need in order for this to be a successful trade, and there's a few things I also look for. So we can see here at 7.04 in the morning, uh, EXTN came on at 364 and 357. So we'll say around 360, maybe we could have got in 360, 365, 370 with a real hot hand and some uh, hot keys set with a buy the ass type, type buy. So EXTN we saw at 364, 357. So first thing we're going to do, and that's at 704 in the morning. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up the chart. And I've as I'm looking at the chart here, I'm looking at a one minute chart and on my chart, if you haven't seen my videos before, just to briefly go over, the red is a 50 EMA, the yellow is a 20 EMA, the purple is a 9 EMA, and the green is a VWAP. So these are the common lines that I'll use or the common indicators that I'll use when day trading. So this is a one minute chart and 704, I'm going to look at time down here I'm going to scan over till we get to 704 so right there is the candle that alerted us on our scanner so it may have had the press release around here but it wasn't until the volume came in here is when it then started alerting me and in our group in the discord and saying you know this is it's time to make your game plan and start looking at this so at 704 what i would do is i'd pull up the stock and what i'm looking for is i'm looking for the volume sticks here and i'm looking for the specific you can see the volume right here as i scroll over each candle you can see the volume so the volume on this candle was 70,000, almost 71,000 shares and the volume next to it was 49,000. so combined we have over a hundred thousand and that's that's key for me when I'm looking for a really sweet day trade, something that I believe could really return back to highs and something that I'm okay with buying pullbacks on, I would really love to see the stock have 100,000 shares traded within the first minute or two that the press release comes out or the first minute or two that it comes on my scan. So as soon as I see my scan, if I see within a minute or two, 100,000 share volume rush, then that's when I get excited. So we did see that on these two on these two candles here. So what I would then do is I'd pull up the day chart and I'd go ahead and mark the levels. So we'd mark the levels and have them marked. So here you can see that I marked a 50-day EMA. So if I go to the day chart, you're going to see that the 50-day EMA, I'll reset it here, the 50-day EMA landed right around here. And so I go ahead and mark that level. Now the blue line here, which is a 200 day EMA, now that level I'm going to mark as well with a blue line and I'm going to mark that has, it's the 200 EMA. 
Now, I always look at these stocks whenever they're above the 200 EMA to be extremely bullish. This is when they have uh, a lot of momentum and FOMO starts to kick in. And that's when we can really squeeze this thing up and get to new highs and new levels. So I mark these and these are important levels for me. And I switch back over to the one minute chart, which is on what I'm focusing on solely other than the day chart that I mark. I'm going to zoom in on that, that candle that we first saw make the move. So this is the candle that we saw make the move. So within one, two minutes, we have the chart marked. We then pull back to the one minute. We see that this is on a 50 day EMA. It's also at a nine EMA pullback on a one minute chart. And then we can maybe look for a one minute break of highs to look for an entry. So maybe you're looking at this level here. And if you look at the high of this candle here, it was 365. So maybe you placed your order at 370 just to be safe. And you were taking profit at the top of this candle just in case pressure came in. So you made it 14 cents per share. And then after that, you were riding in from there. Now you were able to get 85 cents within one, two, three minutes. Within three minutes, you could have got 85 cents per share and scaled out from there. Now, that's not all. This stock continued to then make new highs after that. As you can see, as I zoom out, it then made new highs all the way up until the market opened. So this thing actually made its highest level at 512, we can see over here, right before the pre-market ended. So as the market opened, this thing just dumped. And the reason for that is the stock completely made its move all in the pre-market. So it was completely used and we were looking for, once the, once the market opened, we were all jumping on GMVD or any other stock that was, was seeing a rush of volume. But when we look at this stock in particular, again, what I'm excited for or what I'm excited about is I'm looking for that volume rush. So when we look at this number up here, the volume, we see 71,000 shares there. 50,000 shares there. We know that we have 120,000 shares within two minutes. And that right there is what gets me excited. That that ensures to me that this is possible, a good entry to buy in pullbacks and not have a fear. So in this case scenario, you could have been buying at the 9 EMA. I particularly like to wait and look for this volume right here. I like to look for the rush of volume to confirm. And then once we broke VWAP, that there I think is a really nice trade. The break of VWAP is a nice trade back up to here. And again, you could have scaled out. But just, just if you were to buy at the beginning of this when the alert came out and you were able to hold it, which this is not something that I'm very good at, guys. I, I have a tendency to scalp and scale out real fast. But to me, profit's profit. But if you were buying at this 50 EMA where you can see it pulled back here multiple times, and you got it all the way up to here where you can see it hit multiple times. It broke through a little bit, but say right here was comfortable. You had here, 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 plenty of times to then scale out and hopefully hit this, this target. You were looking at a 41%, $1.45 per share trade. And this is in a market that, again, is really hard to find great day trades. So this is something I really like and something that I think everyone should be paying attention to when day trading. So again, when we look back here, we can see we got support around that 50 day EMA. We went back up here, we tested, broke through the 200 EMA, came back down, tested around this level, which you could be buying on this nine EMA using this 20 EMA as your stop loss, as a mental stop loss. And that could be a really good trade. Now, it doesn't always work this way. Uh, in this situation, it really, it worked great for us. We got ourselves a really nice trade in the morning. And again, it was off of the pre-market scan. So, if you want to partake in this pre-market scan, it's live in the Discord. I'll leave the link in the description below. And that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, take care.